Hey everybody, Rocks and Box of 90 here with our usual speculation and analysis of the Konzatar Kier trailer. And I've done this for most set trailers that have come out. We go through the trailer, I give you my general thoughts, try to piece out what's going on a bit in the trailer, look, check out the different arts, and give my overall opinion of it. So let's check out the Cons trailer. Realize because there's not going to be any sound from the trailer, if you guys want to watch it yourselves, I'll put the link below in the description, you guys can check it out and see it with its cinematic usual flair. Let's start off the trailer and see what we got, what's going on in this trailer. So we start off with the usual logo, usual pops in, regular thing goes on. And then we have flickers and images very close up of what looks almost to be like a cave wall, but it's very close up and hard to see. And we rise and rise onto a, inside, it looks like some sort of cave or ledge here, and we have it looks to be Sarkin. Boom, right here, looking all awesome and epic. And this, realize, it does not look like the artwork of a card. It looks very CGI, which is new because past trailers, the majority of the time, if not all the time, is visual moving of card art images. And this seems to be a completely developed CGI for the trailer. New, I don't know if I love it, but let's check it out. So Sarkin says he wasn't born at all for war or anything. And here we see his plane of the dead dragons and the clans. He comes back and he has the hedrons, hedrons uh, from Zendikar or Zendikar. They definitely look like it. We've seen this artwork before, him in the flames coming back, planeswalker, and... We know his backstory, he's been tormented and messed up by Nicol Bolas back in Alara time, and he also, when he was uh, involved with Ugin as well, Ugin kind of seems to have checked into his mind. And he's being haunted, but it seems, by Ugin's spirit. And we know Ugin is dead from the story world builder panel. So here we see he's returned amidst warfare, and the clans have gathered that's his clan. His clan, I believe, was... Uh, he says something about his clan being the Mardu. I don't know if it's actually his personal clan, but they have been doing pretty well, apparently, under Zergo. And we've seen some of these artworks before. I don't know if they're all going to be on cards, but they may also be partially promotional. But many of them we know are on cards, so we'll see. The Jeskai are monks, masters of deception. As he says, the art design on these buildings is really cool. I really like the art style of the set. Very cool. Then we have the Temur. We see here a mammoth warrior, which looks freaking sweet. I have to say, Temur designs, I love their wild winter savagery. And he has to be awesome, because with this art in movement just looks so awesome. He, For those Game of Thrones fans out there, he reminds me of the Beyond the Wall, Leader Beyond the Wall. He looks awesome. And here we have the Sultai. Apparently they are masters of the undead. They're not just freakish, scary, snake naga warriors. But apparently they also control the undead. And we've seen that with the Sultai clan leader just revealed. He controls uh, zombies, which makes sense. Here we go. Sidiris right there. The Abzan, I really love their design here. This <laughs> mammoth thing is... Well, not mammoth, almost like a some kind of elephant is tugging a huge castle behind them. Uh, the Abzan are very interestingly designed. There's just enough craziness to them that they are chaotic and warlike, but at the same time, they are very regimented and structured and definitely fit the wider side of magic. Really like them. Here we go. This, again, this looks almost like a video game, the CGI here. I'm pretty sure this is nothing card art related. It looks very much like a video game. I don't know if I love it or not, but it does maybe give them some more flexibility. Sarkin just seems to turn into a dragon. That's pretty sweet. Sarkin is a dragon dude. So here we go. The clans are clashing amid the cons of Tarkir. Not my favorite trailer, I have to say, but not bad. Not a bad way of introducing the clans. And I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts about the trailer yourselves. If you guys would like, check out the description in the description the link in the description to the video you guys can go watch it yourselves with the sound and everything and 
then come back here and comment your thoughts and let me know what you think about the trailer did you notice anything that i missed or that you think is worth mentioning put that down below in the comment section if you enjoyed the video tap the like button if you're new to the channel check in and subscribe as always rocks box 90 signing out see you guys next time